What is going on guys? Cubing for you here and in this video we are going to be reviewing the 2022 speech and debate season. Now this season has been filled with a lot of highs and a lot of lows and we are going to be reviewing all of that in today's video. So come with me on this roller coaster of emotions as we review the season. So this was my very very first year of debating. So I didn't really have a lot of high expectations or anything. But of course, my competitive personality and my unhealthy amount of self-confidence got in the way of these expectations. I was going to win. But what exactly was I going to win? Well, I do an event called Public Forum. Now this debate event is super fun to me. Basically, you have your partner and you go against another partnership and you just debate around a given topic. Now, you know this topic about a month or so in advance and you have a month to prepare a speech and then basically from there you just argue and give speeches and whoever can prove the most points or the most outweighing points is the winner. But who is my partner? It's this guy. His name is Ryan. Some quick facts about Ryan. He's taller than a chihuahua, shorter than a bear, smarter than your average human, and he's single. So I also did speech this year. Now, these speech events were a whole lot of fun and overall a great atmosphere. I did impromptu, spar, and panel. Now, spar is pretty much a complete joke. It's just spontaneous argument about stupid topics, but it was still a lot of fun. Panel, this was my other side event that I did at Districts, which I'll speak about in a little bit. And I didn't really like it, but we'll see in the future. It's basically a group discussion, but secretly everyone wants to like beat each other up. But you know, it kind of works out. And then my last event, which is my main event, is impromptu. Now, this is basically where you have seven minutes to prepare and give a speech. You usually take around a minute and a half to two minutes to prepare, and then you have five minutes or five and a half minutes to give your speech. Now, you don't get to look anything up. This is straight from your mind knowledge, and it is a lot of fun. So hopping into the first tournament, this was called Black Snake. Now, I have already made a video about this, but I'll give you a brief summary. So pretty much we started out by going to this tournament. We weren't really expecting much. It was our first tournament and I really had no clue what I was doing. I got into my very first round and good for me, my opponents didn't know what they were doing either. We ended up winning that round. I didn't really know what I was doing, but it was a good introduction round. Anyway, we went 3-0 on the first day of the tournament, which was crazy. Of course, we did not know our results until after the tournament, but I now know the results, so I will just be presenting them as they are happening. So anyway, we went 3-0 on the first day, and then we lost our first one on the next day. However, we went on to win another one, which meant we broke to quarters, which is absolutely crazy. We were not expecting this, and we were the only team from our school to do so. Anyway, we ended up losing that first round, which meant we went 4-2 and two at our first tournament, which I cannot complain about. The second tournament we went to was called Thunderville Classic 2022. Now, this was kind of another one of the getting introduced to the year tournaments. And looking at this, I did Congress, which I don't really like. I'm going to be honest. Our coach just had us do it because we wanted to get prepared for Nat Quals, which I will be talking about later. Anyway, I ended up getting ranked 9th, 13th, and then 9th again in that. However, that's not very good, but I don't really care about it. So we'll just move on to the next event that I did there. So since this is speech and debate, we're going to be looking at my speech events as well. At this first tournament, I also did impromptu. Looking at this, I ended up getting fifth, third, and third in my three rounds, which for my first tournament, I'm not going to complain. Now moving on to our third tournament, this one was called Trojan War. 
Now, it was a war, let me tell you. It was full of a lot of good competition, and it was a lot of fun. In PF, we did win, 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 and win. We went 4-0 in the tournament until we got to semifinals where we, we lost. So, ended up going 4-1. But it was still a good experience. We still did really, really well, and I was really proud of us. And at that tournament, I also did speech. I did impromptu again, but this time I got a little bit better of results. My first round, I got fifth, second round, second, and third round, second. So overall, I was improving. Now, moving on to our fourth tournament. So at this time in the season, you know, I was getting pretty good at speech and debate. You know, nothing special, extraordinary, but we were starting to get a couple of awards recognition, you know, not the worst for a freshman. Now moving on to Skyline, we went 4-0 and in the regular rounds. Then they just did a gold and silver, which meant they took the top four teams and whoever won got gold and then whoever lost got silver. So we didn't really know our exact results, but we ended up winning that round, which meant we got gold. But the other gold winner was also from our school. So this was a shutout. We shut out Novice Public Forum in our tournament, which actually was our coach's first shutout of her career. So we felt pretty cool about that. Now, looking at this, I also did two speech events this time. I did impromptu, which we're familiar with, and then spar. But looking at these results, I ended up getting third, third, and second in my impromptu round, which is an improvement from the last time. And then I also got sixth, third, and fourth in my spar rounds. It was mostly just a goof event, and I didn't really care about the results, but it was still a lot of fun. So now moving on to NAT quals. We were done with our regular tournaments and going to districts and NAT quals and state and all of these things. So this is about NAT quals and let me tell you, Congress isn't fun. If you remember, I did Congress at Thunder and it wasn't fun, I didn't like it. Now picture a whole entire tournament just for it. It was held at our school, which meant I didn't have to travel, which I guess is a plus, but it wasn't a lot of fun. I'll just read off the results. I got 3rd, 4th, ninth in my first round, and then I got ninth, ninth, 8th, 5th in my second round. So, I didn't really do very well, but I was like middle of the pack, so I mean like it wasn't garbage, but it wasn't great. So I'm like, it didn't really matter. I don't like it, but I'll take it. Okay. So now, let's prepare for my favorite tournament of the entire year. This was Districts. Now, this came with a lot of surprises. So, let me change into my speech sweatshirt. That's better. So, going on to District Speech and Debate. Again, this was full of a lot of surprises. Starting out with the first day, this was the speech day. Now, this was an all-school battle, I guess. It wasn't just small schools or big schools. This was everyone. Now, since I wasn't making it to finals in any of my speech events earlier in the season, I really wasn't expecting much. But that's when surprises tend to come. I started out and I got third in my first round. Now, did I deserve this? Probably not. It was a very bad speech, but it got the job done. This was done in impromptu, but this meant I could still improve. So going on to second round, I ended up getting first, which this was my first first of the entire year of my first year doing debate. That's a lot of firsts, which is what I was that round. Now moving on to second round, moving on to third round, I got first again. I got third, first, and first, which meant I got third in the entire tournament. This was crazy, because this meant that I went on to state speech, which I'll be talking about later. But moving on to second day, this was the debate day. Now, this was just a small school and then a big school, so they kind of separated us, which meant we had really good odds of going to state. 
So we started out and we won our first round, not that hard. Second round again, not that hard. Third round, the guy put a stool on his head mid-round, okay? I don't think you have to be good at debate to know this, but I think you have a pretty good chance of winning when your opponent agrees with you. When you ask him, do you think we should win? And he says yes. And then when he starts putting stools on his head. He was there for the grade if you couldn't tell. It was insane. I didn't know how to react, but we still did really well. And we actually ended up winning small school district debate. This was absolutely crazy and it was a lot of fun and this tournament ended up surprising me. But this wasn't all the surprise this tournament brought in. Referring back to the speech day, I actually did two events. I did impromptu, which I got third in, and then I did panel. Now. Panel is garbage. I absolutely hate this event, but my coach made me do it. The rest of the kids in my school, well, I can't say most, but a couple of them from my team also did panel, and they loved it. They loved the feeling. It was just overall a good atmosphere for them. I hated it, okay? I did half a practice round in class, and I was like, yep, this is good enough practice. Now, just, I'm not gonna really try. But then my competitive personality and my overall confidence level got in the way and I went and absolutely crushed it in panel, okay? I hated it, but I still faked it till I make did it and I got second alternate to go to state. I beat everyone else from my school, so take that. So now this is where things get fun and exciting. This is state debate. This was held in Boise, so we traveled four hours to get there. The bus ride was pretty exciting, and we rode a Salt Lake Express, so I felt pretty cool. Anyway, we got there, and it was honestly a lot of fun. We stayed at a hotel, and we just played a lot of games. We swam. It was just so fun. We went to the Capitol building and met a lot of great people. Now, look at this picture. I don't know who those guys are, but they look pretty important. There's a lot of other great places we went. We also ate a lot of fast food. We ate Panda Express at like 10.30 at night. It was fantastic. But you know, it was overall a great time. Not even just debating. Now, of course, we were freshmen and we were just happy to be at state, but we still tried our hardest. And it kind of didn't work out sometimes. We ended up going one in four, which was the worst we had done all year. But facing the fact that we went against a lot of good people, great people, fantastic people, I'm just happy we got one win. Now let's move on to state speech. This was held at Highland High School and it was fun. They had such good concessions that I bought seven quesadillas and I ate like five of them and gave two to Tyler. But it was great. They had a quote board, which you could write any quote you wanted. And you wanna know what my motto was and what I wrote on that board? Don't die or else you'll be dead. That is some logical thinking right there. I could be a motivational speaker if I wanted to. But anyway, how did my rounds go? They went really high and really low. So I ended up going sixth my first round. Now it was out of seven, so it really wasn't good, but it wasn't a bad speech. There was a lot of good competition there and most of them ended up going to finals anyway. So I wasn't too sad. My second round went fantastic. I gave such a good speech and I ended up getting first in my round. This was my greatest accomplishment at state because as a freshman, that's pretty good. I was super proud of myself and just excited. Moving on to my third round, I ended up getting sixth out of six. This was a current event round and it was garbage. I did so bad. And of course, this was the one round when I let someone come and watch me. So now Tyler probably thinks I'm really bad at this. But anyway, I ended up going 6th, 1st, and 6th, which wasn't the worst. I didn't make it to finals, but it was still a lot of fun. 
So going over this entire season, I think I did really well as a freshman. And to think that I have three years left of this makes me think I could do really, really well. I think I'm gonna work really hard over the summer and then I'm gonna win an impromptu tournament next year. You heard it first, Josh quote this for your next debate video. I am going to win one tournament of impromptu. So just looking at some quick stats, between Ryan and I, we got 11 awards. Our winning percentage was 70.83. In impromptu, my average rank was third, and my average self-confidence level was 110%. If you did enjoy this video and you stayed through the entirety, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, see you in the next one. Peace.